So Ogren is here, Elite Skin Privileges is out. Uh, Lan Ling Shadow Dragon Skin. I've not seen this skin before because normally people don't play this skin for some reason, I don't know why. Um, changes to skill mechanic, Dian Wei Zhang Fei Yao. This one we will go in and see in the client, it will be better. Bug fixes, freeze upon a room, fixing... Uh, start with no loading bar, chat, uh, city chat channel, red dot issue, no okay, good, good, good. I, I had this issue as well. So for red dot notifications, uh, private chats open, but yeah. Uh, copy chat messages, okay, not too bad. Fixed an issue where incorrect recovery ratios were displayed in Arthur and Zilong skill description. Oh, okay. Improve accuracy of display download as blah blah blah. This one, no, no worries. Mm. This one we'll look at in game, so we'll skip this. We'll see what else is. I know there's an equipment change, but generally the equipment change is not very big of a deal because it is only um like price change, cooldown reduction change, like it doesn't really have any big impact. Because like 5 physical attacks is not going to change anything, right? 20 maybe cha will change something, but 5 is like... <laughs> I, I I don't think it changes a lot, okay? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Siege Breaker got cheaper. Probably a lot of people will start buying it. It will make the uh, power spike for MMs or farm laners be way stronger. So that is a little bit more crazy. Uh, let's hope people don't play Siege Breaker on like any other character. Uh, mod preview, elite system. We'll just skip this. We've done this already. Group system improvement, elite group verification. Elite player will become elite group and receive more privileges. Oh, okay. Linking for social media platforms. Not bad, not bad. This is great. Automatic translation, also good. Transferring. Oh, this is good too. Good for security. All new championship. Oh, take note, guys. These are starting. I probably will lose on the first round, but yes. Uh, players who participate will get all new skin esports star Wu Yan. Oh, I think this is a very new skin. I've not seen it in CN before, so it is a new skin. So yeah. Um, Championship match tracking rules have been adjusted to prioritize finding teammates with the same flag so that the players from the same region can fight together. Hmm, that seems like a good idea, but at the same time, it might not be good. So imagine like five Malaysians fighting five Malaysians and everyone is like a top player. Whoever has the... Whoever has one bad player will int your whole game. <laughs> uh, recovering count chance their region total number of chance will be increased Ooh, win honor for your region well we will never beat china but uh can try each season four rounds it will be the same i guess allocated time yeah it's the same if you're a name champ you're exclusive limited yeah 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 it's the same thing yeah uh events weekly hero picks play rings EWC, ooh, 26? Oh, next tomorrow then? Okay. Oh, remember to get the Yalin skin, okay? A lane skin from tomorrow onwards. So remember to watch EWC. Mm, I think we will be doing all... Maybe we'll watch all the Malaysian matches, yeah? Uh, I will go online, I'll watch the match, then like I will go off just to support the country, yeah? If I'm free, of course. So, yeah. Hmm... Mm. Fight for your own region. Don't 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 be don't be a foreign spy and like change region to Malaysia for no reason. Um This is the same thing. Oh Ogren. There's only two days to get it. Well, okay. Uh 1388. Not bad. Uh. It, at least they didn't make it uh 18k for him. Like Shadow of Prince Lanlings, Hero, Discount. That's it? I thought they made changes to the UI. Because like, like you know why I say they I thought they made changes to the UI, right? Um it's because of this thing. Like I'll show you guys. So like maybe it's me, but I am not sure if this applies to everyone, right? When you buy things, I'll just pick something. 
once you queue up, you start with that team. Uh, no, not really. Uh, you get queued into your role, and every single one is a different team. I played it before. Unless they change the mode, it doesn't. Like you see this, it it looks a little bit brighter, right? Like it doesn't have this spinning thing before, or am I just tripping? Like you see this, this shining thing. I I don't think this was there when I played the game yesterday. Right, and also for uh, wait, maybe it's my own graphic settings. Victory. I never noticed that. Maybe it's my graphic settings. I'll I'll test it out. Cause I know for a fact that um, when they update their graphics, they update everything. So uh, I'll do six first. Yeah, I'll download everything. I just want to see what is it like to play on the upper echelon of uh, of of the games. They usually update UI without saying it. Yeah, cause there is a there is a significant difference if you play uh Fuzi. The the feeling is nicer if you play on the uh super uh, what's it called super updated graphics. So yeah, uh, just me. Really? Wait, uh huh? Let me just install everything. Then we try it out. We go practice, solo practice, pick food. To... Let's hope the next uh, Battle Pass skin they let us buy will be the food skin, man. <laughs> I thought the show was normal because I know ML. Maybe Warriors had that show. Really? So you can go on PC? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that I can play on maximum. Uh, I can play on maximum every single day. When I stream, I can't. Okay. Wow. It actually looks so different, man. Oh, look at the effects. Yeah, yeah. So like the bars, um, don't work the same. It does look significantly nicer and everything, but like, it, it doesn't look the same. So for CN, right, the bar increasing, the increasing bar is a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, time to tune down the graphics. That's it. Okay, so let's talk about the changes in, well, changes in items, nothing to say. It's just things got cheaper, some things got expensive. They changed the, um, set up for certain certain items right like uh i think reverb got changed uh this that got changed like um uh, basically fi final item for everyone got a power spike like they they nerfed well they made it cheaper for everyone so yeah good morning mellow welcome nice to see you how are you mm, okay so for heroes uh zhang fei is gonna be a menace because he has cc now oh no man so basically, before, right, Zhang Fei's ulti uh, does not have a CC effect, it's only a slow effect, right? But currently, if he has a launch effect, launching means knockout, right? He can cancel so many things while not doing anything at all. So if the enemy team, if the enemy team picks Liang, right, you pick Zhang Fei. If your guy got sucked, you ulti, jump into him, knock him up, cancel his ulti. Like, OP, you know? It's quite broken. Uh, I think Kui's ultimate is also the same way to cancel. You basically do a small knockout, he will cancel the ulti. So I'm guessing Zhang, I will see a rise in Zhang Fei's popularity. <laughs> he will he will slowly become the staple. Yeah, it's just because of the 0.5 second CC. It is very useful in terms of canceling things and chasing down people. So yeah. Um, Dian Wei got a very hard buff, right? He has a dash. Attack range is the same that granted by his passive at maximum stacks. One enhance. Even though the true damage um, got cut, his second skill did not get nerfed yet. So he will still be a very disgusting early game hero, which I will try later. So yeah. Hmm... Very disgusting if you know how to play, and generally gets countered very easily. Well, 
it still gets countered very easily, but your and the enemy team knows needs to know what they are doing. So yeah. They were already buffed by previous reward for him. Yes, but in uh CN, from what I know now, that Dian Wei got nerfed to the ground. He's not that OP anymore because he's revamped. So when he got revamped, he was tier zero, like he was very broken, right? Then after that, they nerfed him, nerfed him, nerfed him, then he's balanced now. So yeah. Uh, guess I'm banning Zhang Fei now and it, everything for my Kuei. I need to test it out though, I'm not very sure. Why not get someone to walk the dog? Ooh, Ming, huh? But then your team will lose a frontliner, you have to win the game before 15. So, generally, sometimes unless you are running a super early game comp, I would never recommend you to play like a soft support. A, a, a free tank is always more useful than another soft support, you know? Um, the jump you get from now from his uh, first ability is huge. I have not tried it yet, so we'll try it later, yeah? And for Princess Frost, the damage nerf, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's only 5%, right? But the thing is, right, no matter how you see Princess Frost, her freezing, if they don't nerf her freeze duration, she will always still be useful. Right? She she only got nerfed on in terms of damage and cooldown. It's like one second difference. It's not that big of a deal, right? Um maybe she will hit her power spike a little bit later, but she'll still be useful in terms of CC, right? She's the same as Lady Turn, even though her damage got nerfed a little bit. The CC duration, if it's not nerfed, she they will be fine, right? Um Ho Yi, I don't know why they targeted him. Somehow he got another increase in terms of interval. So basically they nerfed his attack speed. That's it. I I do not know why, but yeah, I, I feel like he's easy to kill and everything, but like <laughs> it is a weird nerf in my opinion. He is not that strong. Even if you look at this, right? 54.80%. There's a high chance it's from the low ranks because no one knows how to deal with Hoi. If you go up to the high ranks, if you click Ho Yi and Ming, right, you will get camped to hell, then. So, yeah. Um, what did they nerf Ho Yi, by the way? Exactly. I feel like it's because of the inflated uh, winning win rates, right? Because sometimes they devs don't really play the game themselves, and most of the time they spend more time in developing the game instead of reaching a high rank and watching the game from a higher rank perspective, right? If you see people running Ho Yi in 50 stars, uh, he better be good, man. Like, <laughs> he need, the, the amount of skill you need to run Ho Yi in high ranks is actually insane with a soft support, you know? You need to go full damage to ensure that you can melt tanks and you have to position so well that the enemy jungle can never catch you and their clash lane will never be able to touch you. Like, the, these two are the biggest thing if you want to play Ho Yi. And what do you need in terms of having those two? You need a team. Normally, if you solo queue, do you have a team? I don't think so, right? Normally, it's not like that. Um, and supports, sometimes they are selfish. They don't want to pick a frontline tank for you for peeling, right? And they will just pick something, some soft support. You will just fall apart. No one's gonna, you know, no one's gonna tank for you. So yeah. Why even buff Zhang Guan? She's already OP. What did they give her as a buff? Let me see. Increased movement speed for more roam. Uh, cooldown timer, not a very big of a deal. She didn't really get a buff. She, she only got a buff in terms of cooldown return. So maybe like 80%, 60 to 70%. Maybe it's like a, a 10 second cooldown. It's like an... I don't know, 8 second cooldown now. It's it's not that big of a difference. They did not buff her damage. They did not buff her... Um, uh, they did not buff her damage. They did not buff her... All her skills CD. They only buff her skill 2 CD. Which, the skill 2 CD you can stack. So, it's not that important. Unless you need to jump a very far distance. But maybe it will be important for one Sangguan one tricks, right? But for normal people like us, we wouldn't be affected, right? There's no buff in terms of damage, so it's not a big deal, <laughs> right? So don't worry about it, she's still the same as she is right now, so yeah. Um, the win rate for Sangguan is probably people failing to execute her on a higher level. So basically, they fail their outies, they cannot kill people, then they instantly lose the game because they have no mid lane DPS, that's it. 
Um, I have a team, but they're agents from enemy. <laughs> Foreign spies. Lo mao. Um. Right. Uh, if not, how to be accurate for you? I see you training earlier. Ooh, I see. The winning win rate probably covers in all ranks, right? Y yes, it's like a total like you see this right winning probability, pick rate, and ban rate, right? This is like from the top to the bottom, and you see everything. Like man's not getting banned. He is not broken. Why nerf? I don't get it. <laughs> His ban rate is like zero point five seven percent. Then, uh, I wonder if there's a way to see like the the ban rates of like Lam or. Ah, Tong Huang. Ah, let me let me go and have a look. Yeah, is there a way to see the ban rate of Tong Huang? Mm. Nope. Maybe I can see in HOK camp, but uh, I'll have a look later. Yeah, Zhuang Zi is Zhuang Zi good now. I will honestly tell you, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I will tell you right, this character is still the same, okay? It's still the goddamn same, right? Look, okay, think about this, right? Skill 2 passive trigger. Does it even matter if you don't even touch the enemy at the same, at the first place, right? Th does it even matter? <laughs> like, the 6 second and 5 second cooldown, does it even really, really matter? I don't... I don't know, right? I Unless, unless... Okay, so this is how he's gonna work, right? So, in the next patch, they buff his... Uh, they buff his base stats. So he gets more damage, he gets more magic scaling, he gets like... All his skills get like better scaling, and better tankiness, and better damage and everything. He can be played in Clash Lane, because... Um, I think it's because of this skill to passive trigger that you can make sure people stay and fight you. And like, maybe basically burn them to death because of the uh, low interval for their activation, you know? That, I think that is uh, what it is, right? But um, currently, there is no stat buff. It's basically, there's only a shield buff, right? He, he only got a plus 50. <laughs> and also extra health, right? 12%. But normally, right, in this game... Uh, People have Doomsday, right? If they want to kill your whole team, they buy Doomsday. And your your shield wouldn't really do a lot when the effect goes off in like 5 seconds, right? Okay, let me check. I'm very not sure about his effect, but I think the shield goes away. It's not like a permanent shield. So, let me see, huh? Conjures up Doomscape through removing all crowd control. 2 seconds! It's only 2 seconds! It's goddamn two seconds! I mean, if you do it properly, you can you can immune a lot of damage, but normally they will get bursted down anyways. It's just two seconds, it will go away, right? <laughs> so it is not a very significant buff or nerf for Zhangzi at all. Because he's he's still his stats are still low, I in my opinion, right? He needs to be buffed. In terms of base stats, like more HP, uh, more magic scaling, uh, more movement speed, maybe and uh, more this, more that, right? That's that's a lot more, right? What does Zhuangzi provide actually to a team? I still don't understand. Except that's the only thing he he provides the team and a cleanse, and also uh, he will be the quote unquote crowd control blocker. So basically, he will be. Standing at the front, eating all crowd controls and letting his own passive cancel the crowd control, right? So normally, if you have a good Zhuangzi, right, whenever the crowd control passive is up, they will just walk into the front and tank all the damage, right? They will, they will, they will try to tank for CC, they will try to tank for this, tank for that, but normally, uh, Zhuangzi aren't, aren't that good. Right? Normally, people play Zhuangzi, they turn off their brains, right? It is... It is a very hard character to master, in my opinion, because of his state right now. But he is only useful if the enemy is picking big AoE damages, like uh, Lü Bu, right? The jump, the knockout, right? Very dangerous, right? Uh, Sun Che, right? The boat, it hits you, everyone dies. So you bring fish, the he can block the boats, he can like cancel big AoE CCs. That's it, 
right? Princess Frost ulti, maybe he can cancel, but normally Princess Frost ulti is not that much of a threat because people can just run away, right? It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, Sunpin got a base movement speed increase. Basically, it's a nothing burger. It's he, he didn't get a buff, right? It's, it's a plus ten, bro. What can you do with a plus ten? Your whole team dies around you. You still die. <laughs> you still lose the game. <laughs> I don't know why they buffed him like that. It makes no sense. But um, currently, I think the most uh prominent one, right, out of all these patches, is probably Zhang Fei Dianwei, and the last one will be Yao, right. He gets a base movement speed boost. Basically, he gets a faster clear. Well, he gets a faster rotation, faster clear. With his uh, second skill, he can reach lanes way faster. Mm, a slight buff in base HP is not really a big deal, right? Um, base attack buff, this might be useful because he does a lot of auto attacks and uh, like empowered auto attacks. So the burst might be slightly higher now. Plus, his first skill got buffed. So, um, extra scaling plus extra damage. So, it's a good buff. So, now, the only thing we need to see is how... If Alex is playing with us later, we can see how Yao works. Will he be easier to play in terms of early game? Or will he be still be the same? He still needs some, like, to get a hit. Something to get a hit. So, yeah. Oh, eh, uh, this patch, in my opinion, in terms of heroes, they didn't really nerf the things that needs to be nerfed, and they didn't really buff the things that needs to be buffed. So, that's just my opinions, right? Um, but if you ask me what needs to be nerfed and what needs to be buffed, right? Um, I really do not have an answer. I will tell you, make the seven most OP characters in the game more OP. Ah, sorry, less OP and more balanced, but if you make them balanced, like, the Futsu will beat them all. <laughs> and it will be, it will be Futsu's time to shine. So yeah, that's, that's the thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the whole patch notes. That's it. That's nothing crazy. Oh yeah. You can actually kill mages and marksmen now. It's the only difference is either he needs the level 4 kill or he doesn't need the level 4 kill. If he needs the level 4 kill, that means it that that's nothing that changed, right? Only faster rotation. That's it. But if he doesn't need that level 4 kill and he can still uh scale without that level 4 kill, that means he is a viable option to be picked right now. He will probably be at the same level as Musashi and Zilong. He will never reach the level of Jing, right? The the character's kit is just that much deep. So yeah. Um. Okay, now we see HOK camp because I am curious about uh Dong Huang's Kevin Raid <laughs> and Big Raid.